everyone. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Christian Lies. Uh, but being friends of Binkies, you probably know me as that fucking nipper. <laughs> That's an Asian. I don't even know why I'm here honoring you, you stupid prick. You fucked up more lives than a Japanese earthquake. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm going to be channeling Greg Giraldo tonight, and not just because I'm first, but mostly because I want to be fucking dead and not here. <laughs> I know that Liza said she wanted this to be like one of the old-time classic roasts, but let's face it, the most Binky has in common with the Rat Pack is that he's greasier than Dean Martin's hair, and it's inevitable that at some point he's going to have a glass eye like Sammy Davis Jr. <laughs> <laughs> Laugh now. That fucking thing is going to wind up in your drinks at the next party, and you know it. We're here tonight to celebrate a guy who's known by so many people and liked by so few. <laughs> you can be talking to a group of friends and even the ones that have never met him will say, Oh yeah, I know Binky. Yeah, I've heard all about him. Some of my co-workers that uh, I work with, uh, they hear me tell stories and they'll ask me, you know, what's Binky like? And uh, I'll think about it for a minute and usually I say, um, Try to imagine that George the Animal Steel ass-raped Andy Dick, and they created an offspring. Then imagine that thing being dropped on its head, from a third floor balcony, onto a rock. That's Binky. Wow. Even <laughs> fucking Binky. Where the hell do I start? How do you embarrass someone who, on a daily basis, conducts himself with all the dignity of a monkey shit fight at the zoo. <laughs> How do you embarrass someone whose most dignified achievement to date is remaining fully clothed for two-thirds of a wedding? <laughs> How do you embarrass someone who makes a German tourist in a Speedo look like an Amish minister? <laughs> Jesus. I can only imagine the pride that a small community like Blind River has in having spawned a douchebag like <laughs> Blind River, or as it's known by most of us, the land that evolution forgot. No offense. Does anyone else find it ironic that the name of Binky's birthplace starts with a disability? <laughs> I mean, Jesus Christ! This guy's got more strikes against him than a quadriplegic baseball player. <laughs> Binky's drag lies up to that shit whole lots of times, and God bless her, I don't know how the fuck she stands it. <laughs> I asked her about her last trip, and she told me that the camping trip and deliverance looked like more fun. <laughs> Except their locals were cleaner. <laughs> Oh, fuck. Oh, well, I guess Blind River is an appropriate name for your birthplace because, you know... Fuck. <laughs> After having to stare at your naked ass at every party I've been to in the last 12 years, I want to poke my eyes out and fucking drown you! <laughs> Jesus! Look at you, you fucking freak show! The last time I saw something that big and hairy was John Holmes' nutsack in a Sentley's porno! <laughs> Even scarier than your face is the knowledge that you are the voice of reason in your family. <laughs> How fucked up is your family when you're the voice of reason? That's like being the normal one in the Jackson family. And no matter what crazy shit Mickey does, he always seems to be able to top himself on the next try. Like, when you think he's pushed the envelope as far as it can possibly go, he pulls some whacked out stunt out of his ass. Just when you think he couldn't possibly be a bigger asshole, he manages to go and become a bigger asshole. I mean, can, who here can think of a bigger asshole than Binky? I've been doing this for like three weeks and I came up with two. Godzilla's asshole and King Kong's asshole. That's it. When I was trying to figure out what I was going to say about Binky, I started thinking about all the stories I could tell. and I'm going to skip the anal rape stories, the drunken physical assaults, the testicle gropes, and the multitude of naked tales. The day after his first son Magnus oh, was born, I knew it. <laughs> he drove by my house to just, he hadn't slept in like more than 24 hours, he dropped by my house to have a beer and just relax for a bit. 
just chill out. So we were sitting around just having a beer, chilling out, and discussing everything. And uh, we were talking about baby names. And uh, he said that Liza liked the name James for a baby. And he said, no, nah, every fucking baby, every guy named James is a fucking retard. <laughs> and I just started laughing, just killing myself laughing. Like, so la laughing so hard, no sound comes out of my mouth. And he's looking at me for a minute, like, why is he laughing so fucking hard? And then this tiny five-watt bulb goes off inside this gigantic fucking cranium, giving those beady eyes, like, the faintest glimmer of thought. And he's like, you've got a retarded uncle named James, don't you? <laughs> and I couldn't even talk. I was just nodding. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but that was just one of the funniest times Mickey put his foot in his mouth. <laughs> I went with it though. You did. <laughs> oh God! In all seriousness, in all seriousness, Bink. After all the jokes are made and all the stories are told, you're the nicest guy in the world. You do anything for anybody. You give them the shirt off your back, which is probably you why you're never wearing one. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? I'm proud to call you one of my best friends. So you know what? Get over here and rub dicks with me, you big faggot. <laughs> Ha, <laughs> ha,